The actions by the joint services in Linden over the weekend are not going down well with the town's people, and they are promising to continue with their protest action. The town of Linden looked like a war zone over the weekend as the joint services moved in with Operation Final Push to clear the roads and make an attempt to restore some law and order in the community that has been protesting for four weeks now. In the early hours of Sunday morning, just as the town was waking up to a fire at a one-mile primary school, which completely gutted the school building, the Operation Final Push was intensified. The police force has confirmed that a man believed to be behind the burning down of the school was caught by residents and handed over to them. The man remains in custody. It was just after the handing over of the man to the police that the operation was restarted to clear the roads. As residents protested that move and gathered in their hundreds, the joint services began releasing tear gas, tear smoke, and pellets were also being fired at persons. The situation became so chaotic at one stage that canisters of tear smoke were being shot into the homes and yards of citizens in the early morning, affecting sleeping children and the elderly. And there was even friendly fire as two soldiers were shot with pellets fired by the police. Three to our today in the morning, I had to run with my little three children out of bed, hollering with tear gas. I had to run them and soak them down out of warm bed they were sleeping. Three to our today in the morning. Yeah? What is police really doing to people in London? Eh? We ain't got pe we were really going on now. Yeah? Everywhere now the come and say they didn't tear gas as well. Then it's who doing the tear gas in. A 10-year-old boy was shot with pellets to his head while he was in his home. Residents said they have had enough. That's my son, his name is Henry, and my name is Shelly Green. My son was with me, and I was covered at the same time. And my son said, Mommy, I feel something to my head. And I checked the hole, and I see a black thing in my son's head. The pellet is in his head, and when I went to the hospital, the doctor said that he would live with it forever. It can't live with it forever. It can't come out. The operation continued for hours, and as the joint services cleared the roads in some areas, other areas were blocked as residents became enraged over the action and even more defiant. I was like in front of my yard when they say happened this in the ski. Like twelve five G Valley here, they had the top of the Yeah. And these people like coming through the team. Right? Them police them are like coming through all them are coming through this game. Oh, them are so shooting everybody. Persons in the town who were protesting said the protesters had nothing to do with the early morning fire and the police must continue to press the man taken into custody to reveal the intellectual authors. Residents said they would have nothing to benefit from the torching of the school. The education ministry has condemned the torching of the school building, especially just a few weeks ago before schools reopen across the country. Education officials say they are not sure when a new building will be constructed. Today, the regional chairman, Sharma Solomon, said Operation Final Push appeared more to be an activity meant to terrorize the citizens of the town. Uh, so we had the opportunity to visit quite a few homes where young men were terrorized literally taken out from their homes, guns pointed at their heads and said that if they misbehave, they're going to be killed. Uh, so you had people who said that indiscriminately, shots were being fired, tear gas were being thrown in people's home. It was to, people were pushed back at least quarter mile. You had residents as far as Silver Tongue had to vacate their homes and move way out into the, going into the Silver City area, even right back into the valleys. President Donald Ramatar again reiterated over the weekend that he will only visit the community when all the roads are cleared. The joint services have since reported that all the roads leading into the town have been cleared. The president has been made aware of that development.